Man, that one hit the lesbians hard. <laughs> dead? Yeah, I saw the forearms. I knew what was up. That haircut was a dead giveaway. <laughs> you look like a woodpecker. <laughs> Which I bet is the exact strap on you all. <laughs> a woodpecker? <laughs> you look so cute. We were talking about fears earlier. Um, do you do you have a, do you have a biggest fear? Well, you, not really. Just uh, my. <laughs> you were talking about you know defining stuff in your parents' closet. And my daughter. <laughs> your daughter found something in your closet. <laughs> Hold on, daughter. <laughs> oh, what's she find in the closet? Her mom. <laughs> What did she find when she was seven or eight? A box of fun stuff. A little treasure chest? A little pleasure chest? Yes. A bottle of stuff and squirted it all over. All over herself? No, no, no. Oh my god, you're like, that's for the slip and slide. That's. It's <laughs> not for you. Was it Lou? Yes. Oh no. Sorry, but what'd you tell her it was? Your husband? This story keeps getting more and more interesting. Every time I think I got this story figured out, nope. Are, are you really not a lesbian? What? Are you really not a lesbian? Uh, yes. You are? What's happening right now? <laughs> so you're, ma you're married to, to a man? To a man. But you are a lesbian? No. <laughs> no, not for real? I'm not a lesbian. Oh, I asked twice and you were like, ah. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I'm sorry I judged off of everything. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. You ever peg him? You ever peg him? You don't know what pegging is? Bless your heart. Oh, boy. her explaining it is even funnier. That's so funny. I don't like that you know. You look too wholesome to know. I don't like that at all. You look like you make wonderful mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Um, I don't like that you have this dark side. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yes. 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 Wait, really? Yes. Oh yes. Porn if I'm telling you, you can't. No, porn yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. <laughs> you should not be in a position to leave reviews. <laughs> Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> hey. It should say, hey, bro. It's <laughs> how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. The website. Get the fuck out of here. It's not, it's not a yeah, you're not, you're not, not a dot org. org. <laughs> yeah. While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> Happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we gotta stop this. <laughs> he said too many school shootings. Ah! Please contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, hey man, knock it off. I'm trying to come over here. No, no, hey, you call you call your representatives and just release the right Oh my god. I'm the fucking Florida jerking out to the oh. West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website, that's a family photo. <laughs> Facebook? <laughs> just dentist magazines. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What are you getting your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. What do you want to do with that? Um, at the end of the day, like FBI, CIA, but you don't start there, so. FBI, CIA, for real? Are you going to find the clip? <laughs> I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. Where do you know this guy from? 
with my ex-boyfriend. Now, are you two better friends than you and then, than her ex and you are at this point? Correct. We ditched him. Oh, you get both of you guys aren't friends with that guy. Crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic, and a mascot. A mascot? A mascot. What was the mascot? The Omaha Beef? <laughs> there's no way there's a team called the Omaha Beef. Indoor football team. Indoor football? Like lingerie? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, man. And then we also became a mascot for the, uh, the Union Omaha soccer team. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha Beef. I really... <laughs> an indoor football team? <laughs> I hope, there's, I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> Do you know Tanner? You work with him? Are you the Beef Curtains mascot? He moved to Texas now? Job. He took a professional mascot job? <laughs> Where? It's, he wouldn't say, but it's like minor league something. Minor leagues? I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? Uh, I slept with a pilot. You slept with a pilot? Yeah. By like Spirit Airlines or like, or like Navy Jet pilot, pilot. Like Air Force. Air Force? Southwest. Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at our college. Oh, yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's like in the process. He's still got to graduate. He's not even a pilot? <laughs> so you haven't fucked a pilot. <laughs> You fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. <laughs> you said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? <laughs> My airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. <laughs> and why didn't it work out? Would you say he's plain? <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. I only work out with black dudes. <laughs> Exclusively. Because black dudes will push you to your limits whether you want to or not. I started about six months ago, man. I was in the gym one day, and I, I was having a bad day. I was, I was stressed about something. I was angry about something, and I was like, man, fuck this. I'm, I'm going to use this negative as a positive. I'm going to use this aggression. I'm going to put up some weight. And I was hitting a chest day, so I was like, fuck it. I'm going to hit a new max on the, on the bench press. You're supposed to have a... Um, spotter. Sp yeah, 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 spotter, so you don't die. <laughs> and I, I didn't know anybody in there at the time. Closest person to me was the black dude at the bench next to me. So I, I walked over. I was like, hey, man, would you, uh, would you mind spotting me for this set real quick? And he was like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I was like, I feel like you do. <laughs> Everything about your voice is safe. I, I feel like I can lift the world now. Okay, come on. So we... So we go over to the bench together, he, he gets behind the rack in the spot position, he's ready, I lay down, and I'm, <sighs> get it off the rack. <sighs> oh, I get one rep in. <laughs> oh, I get two reps in. I get, I, I get stuck on the third, my, my, my arms start shaking. And he can see this. <laughs> so like any good spotter, he has some words of encouragement. I'm trying not to die. And this man just gets in my ear. <laughs> and do that shit. Do that shit. It ain't nothing. I was like... I 
I don't know, man. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. He was like, my people been tired. I was like, God damn. I'm sorry. It was only like 255. You had white guilt on top of that. It's like 500 pounds, man. I was like, is this pre-workout or a history lesson? What are we doing, dog? <laughs> so that's my new routine whenever somebody's like, you look good, Matt. You want a diet? I'm like, yeah, it's called White Watchers. You should try it. So, <laughs> so when black people watch white people struggle, you will sweat. I promise you. <laughs> Legos in his bedroom? <laughs> Elaborate. He was 23. He was 23. And he had a Lego village in his bedroom. He had a Lego village in his bedroom. Okay, so you don't fuck with architecture. <laughs> was it, it was, it was like a town that he had built? Oh, yeah. Alright, sex aside, was it kind of impressive? It was a little bit. That's what I'm talking about, see? Judging too much. Where'd you meet him? New York City. New York City? A lot of buildings. <laughs> Is that where you're from? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing out here? Uh, working. Working? Oh, what do you do? Uh, crypto. Crypto? <laughs> <laughs> you mad at this dude for building imaginary cities. You play with imaginary money. <laughs> That didn't cross your mind? I feel like this wasn't a problem until you did your walk of shame barefoot. You were like... <laughs> Where'd you meet him at? Do you remember? Uh, house party. House party? A real house or a Lego house? <laughs> Why did it cross your mind as a red flag that he had Legos in his room? Was it just that? Did it come across as childish? Were they sharp? Were you afraid you were going to swallow some by accident? They were in his parents' house. They were in his parents' Oh, he still lived at home. Yeah, that's the red flag. It's not about, it's not about the Legos.